in the last seven years, Puerto Rico has been subject to extreme hurricanes such as Hurricane Irma and Maria. We also had Hurricane Fiona. That was in 2022 where we had catastrophic rains, more than 30 inches of rain in a period of 48 hours, and also extreme heat events. Now we have the earliest heat wave that we had in our history. When I started 35 years ago at the National Weather Service office in San Juan, I remember getting a satellite picture, just a print that would come from this machine, and that's what we will use to forecast Hurricane Hugo, the daily weather, but today everything is accessible. The resolution of the images, the way that we are using the satellite data, not only to convey forecasts, but also to analyze the oceans, to analyze the vegetation. And that is impressive because we are now integrating the needs of the community into the technology. So basically we are producing content that is based on what is needed from the scientific community and also from the communities it themselves. This is incredible. I remember learning about climate change when I started at the National Weather Service because there were um, scientists that were studying climate change in Puerto Rico and at that time there was a council of climate change which was studying for example coastal erosion sea level rise but that seemed like far away those things were going to happen in the future but the future is here and now we are facing people dying from hurricanes people are dying from heat waves People are suffering in the communities because of the impacts of climate change. We're seeing the economic, the environmental, and the social impact on climate change that is happening now. I think one of the challenges that we have as communicators, although we share common values and goals as meteorologists, as broadcast meteorologists, and we understand what is happening around us. Now our communication has to focus on the impacts. It has to focus on, focus on the imp compound effects of heat waves, dust events, extreme hurricanes, extreme droughts, and all these recommendations have to come at once. So. People sometimes shut down when you give that kind of information because it's too much to handle. But I think that a message with empathy, grounding ourselves into the needs of the communities that we are serving will make and have a better impact on the actions that people will take because our lives depend on it.